Welcome guys, welcome back to the Amazon Dad community. I am extremely excited for you guys to be here. This is my very first training video series that I am creating on how I create my private label product, how I created it, how I started it from in my mind, thinking the of the idea, to creating it to actually bringing it to market and i'm going to go over 10 videos step by step on the whole process okay i love creating private label products i've done a few of them so far i sell them on amazon uh on ebay facebook marketplace i even have my own website where i sell these candles and these candles are going to be the center of this 10 video series training because that's what I've done. But these principles can be used for any product. If you want to private label uh, a, a pencil if you or a pen, if you want to private label, um, you know, cell phone cases, you're going to be able to do that with what you're going to learn in these next 10 videos. Now to go over with you real quick what these 10 videos are going to be. This is video number one. This video is coming up with the product idea. That's what you're going to learn here. Ways to come up with ideas. Video two is research. How feasible is it to get into the space? Can I buy or create the product? And that's one of the reasons why I chose candles. Video number three is getting prices from manufacturers. Video number four is seeing what I can sell them for and my profit. That's very important to know. You need to know what you can buy them for, what you can sell them for before you even make any kind of purchase for the product. Number five, ordering samples from other sellers of the same type of product. When I started my journey with this private label product, I actually ordered samples from two other candle creators on the other side of the States. I'm on the East Coast, they're on the West Coast. Number six, researching those products to get the look and feel that I was going after. That's very crucial, the look, Many times your pictures are what's going to sell your product, my, which goes into video number seven, my packaging and presentation, the labeling, everything I'm going to go over with you in this whole video series. Number eight, how will I sell them? Is it going to be on Amazon, Amazon Handmade, eBay, Etsy, your own website? Are you going to, is this something that you can go to trade shows and sell? Can you go to flea markets? How are you going to sell your private label products? Number nine, how are you going to ship them? If you have a bunch of your product at home, how are you going to ship it? How are you going to package it to your customer when they buy one from you? And then number 10 video in this series is, do I need a website? Do I need a website? For this do I need a website for advertising those are the videos so real quick in this video I want to go over with you coming up with the idea and I'm going to tell you how I came up with the idea for the candles that I have okay I like I like doing different private label things for a while I actually private labeled magnets where I paid somebody locally who actually made magnets that were a very good quality with a 3d printer and he was making them for me and i would buy i was i was selling a few hundred a month at about 15 16 dollars each and my cost was about four dollars and fifty cents i believe i actually sent all these magnets into amazon fba and they were selling they were selling like crazy my wife is Spanish and we came up with some Spanish magnets as well and they were doing very well and that lasted probably maybe like six or seven months but then the gentleman that I was actually buying them from wholesale saw how well I was doing on Amazon so he decided to cut me off and wouldn't sell them to me anymore and he kept making them for himself and is selling them now himself on Amazon. So. That got me thinking, what else can I do? What can I create so that nobody else can stop me from selling what I sell? I, you have to come up with some sort of a product that you can make your own 
and make it extremely difficult for somebody else to to copy or steal you know to the point where it would take so much work that nobody would want to take the time to try to copy you so uh, I came up with the candle idea, but before I tell you about that one, I want to tell you one quick little story. My five-year-old wanted a tree swing for her birthday, which was uh, this past April. And I told my parents about it, her grandparents, I said, listen, if you want to get Cielo something, she's looking for like a tree swing or some sort of swing set or something. So my parents go on uh, Google, they find actually a, a gentleman that makes tree swings and sells them on Etsy for $80. And all this is, is a piece of wood, probably about maybe 14, 15 inches round, about two inches thick, nice finished sanded rounded edges, a hole in the middle. And it was that piece of material, the wood with rope, about 20 feet of rope, uh, and instructions on how to attach it to a tree, and that was it. I went on this gentleman's website. He's a woodworker, so he's creating these types of products that are very simple. He had it packaged real nicely in a uh, a priority uh, large USPS box, nothing fancy, and my parents paid eighty dollars for this. Eighty bucks for this. It probably cost the guy. No more than $15 in materials at the most. Uh, I mean, I, I can't imagine a rope would be that expensive and a piece of wood. Uh, but it was this time of actually making uh, the seat and everything, which is what probably took him a while. So you're paying for his craftsmanship. So if you're handy with something, if you do some sort of craft or make something like that, you, there's something that you can think of and he's selling these on Etsy. They do have their own website, but it all goes back to Etsy because there's so much traffic on Etsy. Um, it's unreal. You can also do this on Amazon Handmade. Now, this video series I told you is going to be on the candles that my daughter and I um, private label. And how we came up with this idea was I, I was looking for another way to private label something. I didn't know what it was. Um, we always have candles in the house. My daughter loves candles. I always have candles here in my office and, I, and you know, lit up. And my five-year-old daughter, Cielo, always comes in and says, hey, you know, dad, can I take a candle from my room? You know, she takes it, she puts it in her room. Obviously, we don't light it. And uh, she loves the smell of it. So after a while, it was happening. I said to her, I said, do you like, you like candles? She said, yes, I, I like candles. And I said, how about you and I make some candles and, and sell them? And she loved the idea. So this next 10 videos or the next nine videos that you're going to watch is the journey that we took because I just noticed that my daughter loves candles. I'm looking for another product, a private label. This is also going to be a teaching moment for my five-year-old where I'm going to show her how to come up with an idea and bring it to life and bring it to market. So these 10 videos in this series are going to be the journey step-by-step -step on what we did to bring our product to private label. And it's now selling on Amazon and our own website. Okay. So again, you can, you can, these principles can be for any product. It doesn't have to be a candle. A candle is just something that I researched. I like. I like candles. My daughter loves candles. I'll wait till you hear the name of the candle company. And uh, you're, you're going to see the significance. And it's going to be something that's going to be around for my daughter as she gets older. She's five years old now. As she gets older, uh, she's going to maybe take this over one day. Maybe add more products to, to the website. So... I want you guys to stay tuned. We're going to go next to video number two, which is uh, research and how feasible is it to get into whatever space that you're looking to get. And can you just buy the product off the shelf and put a label on it, a sticker on it? Or can you actually make the product yourself or do you buy it from somebody who can make it for you? So stay tuned and keep watching the video series to learn and I will see you on the next video.